In this video, we're going to look at how the plane selection tool is used in conjunction with scan regions to quickly isolate flat surfaces in the scene. In the project navigator under scan regions, a new region is added which we will name floor. A second region called walls is also added. These scan regions are where selected points in the scene will be moved to. All points by default in a scene are on the unassigned points region. On the selection tool, the plane tool would be used. The plane tool will allow the selection of points along any given flat surface. Before selecting the points, the plane depth will be reduced. This will ensure that we are only selecting points within a very narrow range. For example, the door and the tools on the wall in the background of the scene we don't want to include in our selection. Starting with the floor, a minimum of three points are selected, double clicking on the last point to accept. Those selected points define the plane and therefore only those points are now selected. Using the region tool, these points are now moved to the floor scan region. On the project navigator, the color can be set as well as the visibility of the points, which we are going to turn off. By turning the scan region off, it simplifies the scene while we work with the remaining points. We do the same with one of the walls. Notice though that because we are picking a plane, that other points such as the ceiling rafters and floor are also selected. In these early stages of moving points to scan regions, this is fine as these stray points can be reassigned to their correct region at a later stage. The next wall is then selected, but instead of moving them immediately to the scan region, the next wall is selected by holding down the shift key and repeating the selection process. And then the third wall. Orbiting the scene to view the remaining two walls, the process is repeated until all the walls have been moved to their scan region. Once you are done, the scan regions can be made visible again. 